Estes Aaron Coney de Enacomputers.com Otro video para ti hoy Another Information Technology Help Tip video Hopefully this one will be short I'll try to keep this one short And luckily I'm in a good mood You know why? Well not really Actually well it's a paradox But this video isn't going to deal with A fucking piece of shit printer problem <laughs> It's still a problem though Because that's all I perform all day is just helping these computer users that just defy all logic. Anyways, alright, let's cut to the chase. Logitech C615 camera installation on Windows 10. That's the title of this video. I always point up, and I don't know why, for the title when it's really down right below the video before you get to the description box, but I think I fixed that strange habit. Just out of the box, Logitech camera plugged into the PC, but no installation has begun. <laughs> what needs to be done? Let's read that sentence again. Just out of the box, Logitech camera plugged into the PC, but no installation has begun. Since when has fucking computer hardware installed itself? Are you telling me they expected the Logitech fucking camera to install itself? They expected the installation to begin and a window would pop up and... Well, well goddamn it, Aaron. Aaron, I'm Logitech's new spokesperson. Welcome to Logitech. Your installation is now beginning. You just hooked up your camera, and here we go. Computer hardware needs drivers. Computer hardware needs software to function. How in the fucking world would that camera ever install itself? They were using a Hewlett Packard 110 computer with Windblows 10, Microcrap, Microship, Microslop, Windblows 10 operating system. Or maybe, maybe they believe the bullshit marketing from Microshit Corporation out of Redmond. They believe that bullshit about, well, where do you want to go today, Aaron? They, and they literally think that Windows 10 is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. And all you do is just plug something in and BAM! Everything gets installed, the drivers, the software, the configuration, and, and then BOOM! It even opens up Skype for you and turns on the camera. And <sighs> Their camera is a Logitech C615. Here's another tip to start off with. Use your fucking brain. Quit being one of these Americans that f is fueled by emotions that never uses logic. N don't connect a web camera to your computer. Most times, it, they may work, they may not, or it will be similar to the problems when you hook up a printer via a universal serial bus to a computer and then expect it to work. No, here's a tip. With the Logitech web cameras, don't connect them to your computer. Don't. They're USB universal serial bus. I think they only support USB 2.0, but some of the newer ones might support 3.0. The difference between 2.0, I'm not gonna digress, and 3.0, it's physics, it's bandwidth. More data can pass through 3.0 versus 2.0 don't because it could load a generic driver it may not load a driver at all and if it loads a driver then when you do install the software you just fucked it up so that's tip number one tip number two don't assume that it you buy something new a new hardware device a peripheral keyboard mouse wireless printer camera web camera whatever it is an Android, an iPhone, and just don't automatically assume that you just fucking 
plug it into your computer and BAM you know the next thing you know you're live streaming on YouTube and without any mice clicks what you want to do is you want to download the software from Logitech I will include two download links in the YouTube video description box below try the first one first this buffoon had problems with the first link which was a direct link to the executable but for whatever reason they couldn't figure it out and so I gave him a link to the second URL uniform resource locator and somehow that helped them but I still had to tell them where to go here's a third number tip did I just articulate third number tip I think I did but <laughs> that came out kind of strange if you do not know how to use a computer stop right now sell all your equipment give it up you're not smart enough you have no business pun intended using computers if you want to learn there's plenty you could go to a local college a community college you I know I think some of them will give courses you can buy books I'm sure there's video series or you could just get off your fucking lazy ass and use the internet and perform some searches and start reading and you'll learn how to use a computer appropriately you know what I'm saying that was my sarcastic tip anything further so with the, with the Logitech webcams this is a common problem I notice on the third party website end users are just clueless and they always try to hook up the camera first because it's USB and it's real easy and then it's a disaster after that and they wonder why nothing happened because they don't have a brain and they don't realize that you have to load drivers and software so download the software that I provided a link to learn where it's at it's in your downloads folder that's why it's called downloads and even on a Macintosh it's called downloads and you, on a Macintosh you use Finder. Finder is the Macintosh equivalent of File Explorer. File Explorer is a vanilla folder in your taskbar down below in Windows 10. It's stock. It's default. You can't miss the icon. Click on it and then look for the downloads folder. That is where all of your software gets downloaded to from the internet, from you know websites and web browsers it's not rocket science look in your downloads folder time and time and time again these computer buffoons they don't even know where to look and then when I tell them they claim that they that the the file is not there learn how to use file explorer you can sort by date you can sort by title or name you can sort by folder and you know what I'm saying double click it's an executable double click to open it do not do not do not connect your Logitech C615 camera yet now off the t I've only used one Logitech and I can't remember off the top of my head if it asks you to connect the camera it may when it's finished installing it may ask you to connect your web camera and also if it's a new camera it should have a quick start guide a setup guide follow those instructions you know what I'm saying and then that's it now as far as Logitech I don't think you have to restart your computer but you might have to if you have to restart your computer whenever whenever you're prompted to restart your computer when you install hardware here's another tip whenever you get prompted to restart your computer after installing hardware don't forget or don't skip that step because it could be that the drivers have to get installed or the so parts of the software has to get installed and it cannot get installed properly while the operating system is functioning you know what I'm saying that was it after they clowned around with their ignorance and they finally figured it out the second link helped I don't know why the first link was a direct link to the goddamn executable the web browser is gonna ask you two things open or save or or run or save 
those two terms are pretty self-explanatory. If you do not know how to save software off the internet or web browser, why are you using a computer? You should get trained first. If you just admit it, admit that you're ignorant. Quit being a fucking goddamn narcissistic, egotistical bitch or asshole that thinks you know everything. If you don't have proper computer training, it's available all over the planet. There are no excuses in 2019. You know what I'm saying? So this clown figured it out. But it's so easy. Installing software for hardware, especially the Logitech webcams, it's so fucking simple. I just, I don't get it. <sighs> Adiós.